Welcome to Finn, Andy Marler here with you, down with Lindsay McDaniel at the Mitsubishi Regional Jet Display. And uh, Lindsay, you have some important news. Uh, you're debuting uh, this wonderful aircraft here. Yes, we are. So this is the first time we've brought the MRJ to the Paris Air Show. The first time it's been to an air show since it was launched, and we're very excited to be here. Uh, it's a fantastic aircraft. Uh, tell me the process when this started, the planning process. Um, so the product was launched in 2008 uh, by MHI, and its first flight was in uh, November 2015. And since then, we've been in the flight test mode. Um, this aircraft is FTV3 behind us, air, flight test aircraft three. Um, and so we're excited to actually bring it to the show in the midst of its flight test program. It's getting a lot of good reception here. You know, people are really uh, excited by what they're seeing. Uh, you're bringing this, of course, to, to a marketplace that's dominated by Bombardier and Embraer. Is that, is that part of the plan? Well, uh, MHI is, has several pillars, as you know, um, and one of those was structure, aircraft structure, um, and they decided they'd like to get into the actual aircraft building business. So they chose uh, a regional jet and are looking to make this one of the pillars of their business in the future. Well, okay, that's going to be a market disruptor for their business models. Where do you see your primary markets around the world for this aircraft? So the primary market for regional jets is in the United States. Um, there is also a large market in Europe and emerging markets in Asia. So primarily we're targeting the U.S. and that's where most of our orders are from at this moment. But we're looking to uh, expand around the world. And Lindsay, bringing an aircraft like this to a show like Paris and of course Farnborough next year, it's very important to, to, to get out and, and show your customers, isn't it? Yes, it's very important. We want everyone to know this aircraft is making progress. It's on track for uh, entry into service in uh, mid-2020. And um, there's not much more to say about that. We're ready, to, we're ready to deliver the aircraft. Okay, Lindsay, thank you very much for your insight. Uh, it's been uh, enlightening, and um, I look forward to, to seeing more great news from this. We're looking forward to showing it. Okay. Uh, you can find all our interviews online right now, of course, at wearefin.com.